أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين. السلام عليكم. Today, inshallah, we will learn about a woman called Maria Al-Qibtiya. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with her. Her real name was Maria bint Shamun, well known as Maria Qibtiya or Mary the Copt. The Copts are an ethnic group of modern Egypt and Sudan who were primarily Christians. Maria Al-Qibtiya was from a noble family. After the signing of the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, the Prophet ﷺ sent a delegation to Egypt to invite Muqaqis to Islam. Although Muqaqis did not accept Islam, but he returned gifts for the Prophet ﷺ. Among these gifts were two slave girls, Maria Al-Qibtiya and her sister Sirin. Muqaqis explained that the reason for him to not accept Islam was due to his fear for being discharged by the superior authority. Hence, the delegation returned back to the Prophet ﷺ bearing gifts. The Prophet ﷺ gifted Sirin to Hassan ibn Thabit. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed them with a child known as Abdul Rahman ibn Hassan ibn Thabit. And the Prophet ﷺ kept Maria for his household. Maria later on converted to Islam. But she was not a Muslim when she came. Maria al qibtiya she was known to be a beautiful, kind-hearted and charitable woman who stayed loyal to the Prophet ﷺ even after his demise, as she did not marry ever again. In Zulhijjah of the eighth year, Maria radiallahu an gave birth to a son, Ibrahim, which made the Prophet ﷺ very happy. Sadly, very soon, Ibrahim fell seriously ill. With each passing day, his condition worsened. Ibrahim lived for a year and four months. Other reports from Hadith say a year and six months and died in the tenth year of Hijrah. His death was a great loss for both the Prophet ﷺ and Maria radiallahu anha, who loved the child dearly. Maria Qibtiya was an honorable and respectable woman who only spent three years of her life with the Prophet ﷺ, as he too left this world a few months after the death of his son. After she had lost the two most important people in her life, Maria Qibtiya bound herself to her house. She died in 16 AH and her funeral prayers were led by Umar ibn Khattab. With this we come to the end of today's episode. Inshallah we will meet next time and study further. Stay tuned and Jazakallahu Khair. Please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel Zil Noorain. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.